Hi, I'm Ray Young. I'm an emeritus professor from the University of Wisconsin-Madison. And I've been uh, giving a series of lectures on essential oils and perfumes, the basics. I've already covered the uh, st structure and composition of essential oils and how they're obtained. And uh, I followed that with a structure and composition of perfumes. Uh, and now I want to continue with a discussion of the different perfume accords or families. Let's begin with the uh, with a listing of the different families of perfumes and they each have a similar character within their families. Uh, we have floral, oriental or amber, chipra, citrus, fruity gourmand, aquatic, woody, and leather. And I, I will give a few examples of a perfume in each of these uh, classes or, or families of perfumes as we go along. So let's start right out with the floral family. The floral family is based on the heady scent of blooming flowers such as jasmine and rose and it's the largest family of feminine perfumes. Fracas, which is my example shown here, was launched in 1948 by Robert Piquet and then reissued again in 1998. The nose behind this fragrance is Germaine Sellier. It's a really an intoxicating fragrance in the Parisian style and it's known for its refined simplicity. It's ultra feminine and quite sexy. Uh, the perfume opens with a sweet buttery citrus notes followed by a fusion of white flowers, uh, tuberose in particular, and it's embraced with moak and oak moss with a touch of iris in the, uh, in the drawdown. As I've listed the main uh, accords, the fragrance is white floral, tuberose, uh, animalic, uh, green, and woody. Now, uh, the, per the perception of this perfume is a number of people uh, have been have given their ideas of what they smell, large groups of people. Uh, what most people, f women, perceive immediately from it is the tuberose, and then the florals, such as jasmine, neroli, and gardenia peach, and then musk, amber, and sandalwood uh, as the uh, lingering scents. Fraca is a very, very uh, recognizable perfume in its black bottle, and it's, a fa it's uh, favored by a number of celebrities, including Madonna, Kim Bassinger, Martha Stewart, and Courtney Love. Uh, a very long-established and, and excellent perfume. The next one in the floral family I'll discuss is Air du Temps, or Air of Time uh, from French. It is a timeless fragrance by Nina Rishi and remains one of the greatest fragrance collections. It was actually created by her son, uh, Robert, and it was launched after World War II in 1948. And the dove at the top of the flacon or bottle is, uh, is a symbol of peace after the war. It has a floral spicy note of carna and carnation in the center of its composition. Uh, and bergamot and rosewood support the development of the, this carnation theme. And it has refined notes of jasmine and rose. Uh, the violet and iris give a sort of a powdery nuance which create a harmony of woodsy notes of cedar and sandalwood. As you note, the main accords of fragrance are warm, spicy, floral, woody, powdery, white floral. Uh, the perception from large numbers of people are of immediately of carnation and then cloves, spices, musk, oak moss, and the aldehydes, which are a big part of the Chanel number no. five perfume, at least in the top note. Okay, let's go to our next family uh, or accord of perfumes, and this is the Oriental or Amber. And it's also with flowers, but much more woodsy and residence residence notes. It often has vanilla. And it gives the accents uh, to give imagery of the Middle East and Far East. It's both exotic and evocative. And it has both masculine and feminine uh, perfumes are in this category, particularly Old Spice for Men, which was uh, which is developed many years ago and used by a lot of uh, men in that generation. The perfume I picked out to, to represent this uh, category is Shalimar, a very famous perfume created by Jacques Curlain in 1925, and then it was reissued in a black bottle in 2007. The name is, derives from the favorite gardens of Mumtaz, wife of em Emperor Shah Jahan, who built the Taj Mahal in her memory. And so this is the idea of the Far East in the, in the name. It's one of the best-selling perfumes ever. It's both sensual and voluptuous. 
and its magic is really undeniable. Uh, Luca Turin, the, the uh, perfume critic, uh, referred to it as velvety, pillowy, and plush. It has the coolness of the citrus notes that lead to a floral heart ending with a warm, luxurious trail. Uh, the fragrance or main accords are balsamic, citrus, powdery, woody, vanilla, smoky, and the perception of large numbers of people are immediately of vanilla and, and then incense, leather, citrus, oponox, which is a sweet, warm, balsamic uh, aroma, followed by sandalwood and tonka bean. A very excellent perfume and uh, a long time stabilized, stable in the market. Another perfume in this category is Euphoria by Calvin Klein. And this is an exotic floral fruity fragrance uh, created in 2005. Uh, it's both luminous and luscious fruit notes which are uh, captured in it. It has excellent silage and longevity. And the main accords in this case of the fragrance is woody, floral, powdery, sweet. Uh, and the perception of large numbers of people are immediately of pomegranate followed by orchid and mahogany, and amber, musk, and violet. Again, another uh, famous, long-established uh, perfume. Now we're going to go to the next family, and uh, Chypre, which is the oldest family of perfumes. And it was named after the perfume Chypre, created in 1917 by Francois Cody. Uh, Cypra means Cyprus, and Cyprus is the birthplace of Aphrodite, the goddess of love and beauty. Uh, the, the, the perfumes of this category start with the freshness of ber bergamot with the floral fruity notes and an intense fragrance of oak moss and patchouli uh, in, the, in the base. Uh, it has a moss green end note, which is also characteristic of this family. And the perfume that I've chosen to represent this category is uh, Mitsuko. Uh, Mitsuko, Mitsuko uh, is also a well-known uh, uh, well aroma. Uh, it was created uh, in 1919, as I mentioned, uh, and it was the, the name was inspired by the heroine of Claude Ferrer's novel La Bétille, The Battle, which was the story of an impossible love between Mitsuko, the wife of a Japanese Admiral Togo, and a British, British officer in 1905. Uh, this is to give the air of, of, of this uh, orient, uh, also in this case. But there's nothing Japanese about the perfume. Uh, Mitsuko is a mysterious fragrance with cool top notes with oak moss base. It has a juicy peach gourmand nuance. It's exuberant, unusual in elegance, but it's, it is well balanced. Um, the main accords in this case are the fragrance are woody, warm, spicy, earthy, citrus, cinnamon, and floral. The perception of many is that, that oak moss aroma immediately, then spicy, and followed by peach and cinnamon. It's really a unique perfume, and it's one of the favorites of the uh, perfumer, perfume critic Luca Turin. Another one in this class is the Aromatics Elixir. Uh, this was uh, introduced in 1975 uh, from the House of Clinique. And the, the nose behind this particular one is Bernard Chant. Um, the top aromatic note is dom dominated by verbinia, sage, and chamomile. So this is rather unique. Uh, it gives way to the floral scents of geranium, geranium uh, rose, and white flowers including also ylang, ylang, and jasmine. The oak moss and patchouli note in the base are the traditional ingredients in these perfumes in this class of the Chypre, and it has a moss green M note. The main accords in this case, uh, or the fragrance, are woody, aromatic, earthy, balsamic, warm, spicy. And the perception of many, again, is an oak moss introduction, and then patchouli, chamomile, and aldehydes, uh, another uh, classic perfume in the more recent years. The next category of perfumes are some of the more modern ones. Uh, this is the Citrus Accord. And the Citrus is an old fragrance family, but it, it, it suffered from not having good tenacity uh, from the, the scents that were utilized. Uh, the, the development of the newer fragrance compounds, the synthetics, allowed the 
creation of this category of perfumes uh, that have some longevity uh, for use. Uh, the, the perfumes are really characterized by their freshness and lightness. And the example I'm giving here is lime, basil, and mandarin, which was launched by Joel Malone in 1999 and also created by Joel Malone. Malone. It's a citrus aromatic fragrance for both uh, women and men. It has a bracing, rich citrus accord with an intriguing grassy mint smell of basil. Clear and bright as morning rain, natural, clean, and relaxed. It's really a, a very fresh perfume. Uh, the main accords or the fragrance are citrus, fresh, spicy, green, aromatic, herbal, and woody. And people, large numbers of people, perceive it first as the, the aroma of lime, then basil, mandarin, orange, vetiver, which is the root of the grass, and bergamot. Uh, a really great modern perfume with a, a, a lot of followers. Uh, the other perfume in this class that I want to talk about is Eau Sauvage, created by Christian Dior in 1966. And the perfumer, the famous perfumer Edmund Rodnitska, Rod uh, created this perfume. It, it also was clear and a fresh scent of lemon and bitter fresh rosemary are combined perfectly with a spicy lavender on the masculine woody base. It's very sophisticated, but not dated. And it's excellent for office wear. It's like a breath of fresh air, the marine and citrusy notes of today. Uh, it sometimes confers a certain metallic quality. And the main accords or fragrance is citrus, aromatic, fresh, spicy, woody green. And the perception of many people of the, f the first uh, aroma is lemon and bergamot, the citruses, then basil, rosemary, oak moss, and vetiver. A very excellent uh, perfume. That concludes my discussion of the perfume accords uh, so far, and I'm going to continue this discussion in the next uh, lecture, and where we'll talk about some of the more modern perfumes. We've discussed a few in this lecture, but we'll continue with the uh, modern perfumes in my next lecture. Thank you.